action. This is the um, 14th day, I think, yeah. Uh, two days behind. When we were wrecking all the locations, it was a heat wave, um, and we had an abundance of light. Um, and now we're in August, which is meant to be the hottest month of the year, we have had rain, grey, overcast skies. It may as well be November, December. We've had this set flooded a couple of times now, which we sort of thought might happen. There's a New Zealand film called Vigil by Vincent Ward. Um, and that's sort of the look that I wanted, is a cold, wet, kind of foresty look, rather than sepia, sun-dappled. Um, so it, it's given us a look that I, that I quite like. I'm not that concerned about it being kind of wet and dreary but it just means we have limited hours. Uh, there's, there's a point, I mean, we, we can't usually start shooting until nine o'clock in the morning because it's too dark beforehand. And at the same time, we can't film after, say, somewhere between five and six because, again, the, the, the light level drops. And when you've got a pro adapter on the high def camera, it reduces the depth of field, it reduces the f-stop, and suddenly you've got a much smaller window in which you, you can film using available light. I mean, we'll get there in the end, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go two days over and our contingency will cover that, so we should be okay. Well, Al sent me a script um, which, from memory, I, I, I seem to recall it being written in biro on full scrap kind of paper. And uh, when it came through, I just thought, well, I'm, I'm not reading that because um, it wasn't presented pro properly. And uh, um, for some reason, I, I just thought, well, why not? Let's not adopt that attitude, let's, let's, let's see if it's any good. Uh, and I picked it up and read it and was really impressed by it. I just thought Al had a sort of a natural eye and ear for, um, for the locality as well as a good sense of storytelling. So um, I phoned Al up and arranged to meet him and um, his, his script that he sent me was, uh, was another project altogether called Hometown Science. Um, and um, I told Al my experience as a kid being held hostage in the woods and asked him if he'd like to have a crack at writing it. I'd written a sort of working class urban type thing and Julian liked it and and he explained this, this I think my memory of it anyway is sort of real life situation that occurred when him and a couple of mates were sort of held hostage in a park when he was a kid um, so it was one of those yeah just, we sort of lent yourself to the write about what you know. So I was, you know, go back and so I thought about my childhood, my mates. As with all kind of, you know, adolescent kids or, 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 or younger than adolescent, you know, kind of you, you go playing war games in the woods. Um, and we were held hostage by this guy in kind of a camouflage outfit with, a, with an air rifle. And um, every time we tried to escape, he'd shoot us in the legs with pellets. Um, and um, I can remember it being, you know, a very harrowing experience, and uh, and my first sort of uh, experience with, uh, uh, you know, the dark side of life, I suppose, of, of, of uh, un, un, untoward adults. Um, first of many experiences, really, um, and um, it just stuck with me as an idea, um, as an event that would make uh, a good story, would make a good film. 
what, what interested me, I think, at the time was how each of us reacted to the situation. Um, and it, it brought out all of our characters. The general idea was, was to write a script about how difficult it is teetering on, on the sort of edge of adulthood. Um, you know, all the problems of, of puberty and sexuality and peer pressure, all those things that we all remember. You know, and it's such an important part of our life. When I read it, I realised that I'd sort of found a, a kindred spirit, if you like, a kindred voice. Because um, I didn't really give him that much of a brief, but what he wrote was just so on the nose, exactly what I'd experienced. Um, I, I just thought, great. When we were casting for this, we were specifically looking for, you know, young Welsh actors. Um, and because it's a coming of age film, um, I wanted, you know, I looked at possibly casting 16, 17, 18 year olds to play down. But I didn't feel that I could get the, the innocence. It meant that I, I was quite limited in, in terms of, you know, getting the locality, getting the accent, and getting also a sense of being from a working class and a privileged kind of background too. Um, it, it, the script required um, authentic casting. So um, I'm very pleased with the cast. Uh, my name's Amy Harvey and I'm playing Leanne. Um, Amy Harvey uh, is extraordinary really because she's, um, I mean she is, uh, I think she's 14, but, but, but she seems to have a great deal of maturity um, and, and that maturity you can see in her face. Her face is, 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 is much more advanced I think than, um, she, she sort of has a Heather Graham type of, uh, of appearance and so she's a, she's a tomboy but she's also discovering her sexuality and she fancies bingo. Um, and I think that, that, you know, Amy has all of those qualities. I like the fact that she has braces too, um, and uh, again her her accent and where she's from, she's as close to uh, the char character as Leanne as I could have possibly found, I think.